Here is my little kitten, Baby Jetson. Hims is just the cutest, and I'm totally, totally obsessed with him. <laughs> He's been a fun addition to the family. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna learn how, these intros are so awkward. Today we're gonna learn how to get this really smoky emerald green gold eye look with the false lash and then I paired it with a really pretty fall lip. So if you want to learn how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, first we're gonna start by priming our eyelids for our eyeshadow. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So we're gonna put that right on our lids. So once your eyeshadow primer is on, we're gonna go in with the Urban Decay Virgin Eyeshadow. Uh, and this is going to go right underneath our eyebrow. So our brow bone is highlighted. So now we're gonna go in with the eyeshadows. We're gonna first go into the Too Faced palette that I use every day. Um, this is the Natural Eyes palette. So we're gonna go into that nudie color for our transition shade right here. And we're gonna take that big fluffy brush again and we're going to blend into the crease and up onto the brow bone a little bit. So we got a good brown transition in. Now we're gonna go in with the emerald green color. This is by Makeup Forever. And I'm gonna start by putting it in the corners. And then putting it into the crease. And I'm kinda of just laying it out right now where I want it to go and then we're gonna blend it with a bigger brush. Oh, I like it. Interesting. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to start blending that out. I'm going to go back in with that green again and just sharpen up the crease with the green. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and I'm gonna dip into gold to put on our lid. This is Honey Pot and it's in that same natural palette. So I'm gonna dip into that and we're gonna put it right on top of the lid. Emerald green again. I'm just kind of clean up that crease. And don't be afraid to go right underneath with the same shadow you used on the top lid. Then I'm going to go into the inner corner of the eye with that gold. So what I'm going to do instead of eyeliner, I'm going to take a angled brush and I'm going to dip into just a regular black shadow. Any black shadow would work. So I'm going to dip in again with the angled brush just a little bit, and I'm just gonna run it on my upper lashes, like right on the lash line. Eyeshadow is done. We're now going to move on to lashes and lips. So I'm going to first curl my lashes. Okay. And then we're gonna go in with the Ardell Demi Wispies. We're gonna have to cut them, I'm sure. And I like to put mascara on at the very end. I know a lot of uh, girls, they put the mascara on first and then they'll false lashes. I've noticed when I've done that though, they all start to clump together when I put the lash on. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but it just never works out for me. It's always a hot mess. So I always curl my lashes, put the falsies on, and then put mascara over the falsies, and that's it. So I'm gonna measure these to make sure they fit my eyes. 
I know I'm gonna have to cut them. Yeah, they're a little too big, so always trim from the inside of the lash, um, the shorter side, when you go to put it on, on the eye, and the flare is supposed to be on the outside of the eye, and then the shorter pieces obviously go on the inside of the eye. So you're gonna wanna take away from the inside of the eye, because you don't wanna take that flare off. So we're gonna trim from the inside. I'm gonna take about two notches off. And then right away I go in to the other lash and I do the exact same so I know that both of them are gonna be cut evenly. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Duo Glue. This is the best glue to use for false lashes. You can find Duo at Sally's. I think they now have it at um, other drugstores too. It works the best. So heads up on that if you're looking for a good glue. And I'm just gonna obviously put the glue right on the band. And then we're gonna let it sit and get tacky. Cause when it gets tacky, it gets sticky obviously. And then when you go to put it on your eyelashes, it's gonna wanna stick in place right where you put it instead of sliding around because the glue's still wet. And that's a hot mess. You get frustrated and you end up giving up and not wanting to put falsies on. So let the glue get tacky. Blow on it a little bit. Baby Jetson sleeping. Oh, I blew the other lash off. Pinch down on the middle of the lash and I'm gonna just put it as close to the lash line as I possibly can. Right in the middle and then I'm gonna secure the ends. So bendy, 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 get it nice and flexible so it's easy to apply. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. Then we're gonna coat the bottom lashes. So eyes are done, we're gonna go in with the lip, the fall lip. So I'm gonna go in with Max Lip Pencil in Night Moth. I'm gonna line my lips. Into lipstick, this is MAC uh, Dark Side. Okay, that is the completed look.